lovelies. Oh, it's so lovely to have that tree behind me. Um, I haven't done any more decorating. This is it for me this year. I just love being here. I've got that lovely scenery there and my tree and that's fine. Um, I'm just cooking so Max and his girlfriend are coming for dinner tonight. So it will be lovely to, to see them. Um, I also have shopped a bit um, on, you know, Black Friday sales. So if these things come sometimes this week, I will show you what I got and if I'm going to keep any of it. Oh, actually, you probably can't see the um, colour of it properly. It's really nice. It's like a mauve mauve color minky mauve uh, this is from arquette it's like a really cozy wool mix baggy jumper which i love to wear in the winter so i got this one um on black friday sales but that's the only thing that i have so far the rest hasn't arrived yet i think i might have gotten some things from h m as well it's not a big haul just few bits that I wanted so yeah hopefully they will arrive this week so I can show you right my lovelies I better go and peel some potatoes and prepare vegetables and I will see you later hello my lovelies I have a bad update on sofa gate so uh, Paul got to speak to someone at the head of his director whoever he was and he was very nice and he was trying to persuade us to have them fixed or whatever and we said no no and he said okay we will arrange for them to be picked up and your refund so we thought great what a great customer service till today today paul got an email from the same person and totally different tone saying they cannot accept our request for refund hold on louis wants to go out basically the tone of it was he cannot believe that we moaned about this few imperfections it's pretty normal for that to happen in transit from italy to here and uh, so they won't be collecting them and won't give us a refund so the fight is on because obviously consumer act says that within 30 days if you are not satisfied with the goods that you have bought you can get a full refund so but obviously it's another headache and stress because we will have to fight with them over it so i'm not happy i don't want to talk about it anymore so i won't talk about it till is sorted or not sorted at some point right my lovely so i thought i'd just give you an update on sofa gate good morning my lovelies so all my stuff has arrived for from the black friday sales so i thought i'd show it to you i'm not going to be putting outfits together i will just try these things together uh, so you can just see what it looks like obviously if these things are still available they won't be available for that price but i got such good bargains i'm not keeping it all uh let's start actually with and other stories i got a couple of things from them i got these earrings this was so funny they are so gorgeous can you see they like triangles gold so I hate it when they show jewelry but don't show show it on someone's ear so they look tiny like this on a screen and there was no picture of anybody wearing them so I ordered them and they are quite huge but I actually really really love them and they quite they are quite weighty as well so I got these I got I think it was 30 percent off and then I got the this wool blazer it is proper thick wool you know like your long wool coat just in a blazer form and it's absolutely beautiful so i got that for 30 percent off as well it's just wonderful it's quite weighty but not too heavy now 
I need to talk to you about the sizes because the sizes are in EO and I urge you to always go and look at the size converter because this is supposed to be oversized and I think this must be so oversized because I got size 36 and to me 36 is UK 10. I thought it's oversized, I don't want it to be that huge, I get 10. But when I looked at the converter, they did 36 to 38 is UK 8 to 10, which would mean the 36 is UK 8, which I'm definitely not, and that would be US 4. But this fits me fine. Actually, let me put this one on quickly. To me, this fits like medium. It's got a split here at the back. To me, this fits mid medium. Okay, I won't be able to put any thick, thick jumper, but just like a, you know, fine cashmere or merino wool, it will fit absolutely fine. And I don't need to wear thick jumper under it, you know. Winter's here and never that cold, although this week's been below zero at night, so it's been quite cold. But this is very warm and if I wanted it to be a bit more oversized, I would get maybe the 38, which would be UK 10 then. So please check the sizes, but I would normally with something like this go for medium or UK 12, sometimes 10. I can imagine, that means that this would be three sizes bigger, 36, 38, 40. Yes, yeah, so it would be huge. So I really love this. I'm going to keep it. It's, it's one of those pieces that is forever. You know, they never go out of fashion. It's a winter short coat. So I am keeping this. I have long coats, but I don't get much wear out of long coats because... You go in a car everywhere, they are very awkward to get in a car, you know, long winter coat. And I don't need something that long to walk around, you know. I don't walk around outside for hours when it's cold. You usually just drive into shopping centre or to the supermarket, so you don't really need long coat. But there are occasions when you're dressed up and going somewhere that you need a long coat. That's why I like the short ones, because it's more of an everyday thing. So let's do Zara. Oh my goodness, this was so exciting. <laughs> I got an email that on that day, the sale will start at 10 o'clock at night and you will be 40% off. So you could put things in your basket, you would just see the right price and then at 10, it would change to 40% off. So I did all that, I was all excited. And then about an hour before the screen went blank and he says, we are closed now till 10, you know, preparing for sales. But then in a small print underneath said, the 10 o'clock sale started on a mobile app, not on your laptop, on your online, was at 11. And I was like, oh my God, he's going to sell out. So I didn't have Zara app. So I downloaded Zara app. I couldn't remember my password. It was... Anyway, I got what I wanted. So do you remember I had, um, in my last haul, I've shown you these uh, navy pinstripe trousers from the ZW collection, which I love the shape of, absolutely love them. So I looked if they had any other trousers in that shape, and they did. I have two pairs, but they all fit slightly different. They have the same shape, but they fit slightly different and are different fabric. So the first pair I got is this charcoal, they need ironing, um, charcoal wool pair. They are, I think, 98% wool and, yes, 98% wool and 2% elastin. And they are beautiful shape, but they fit a bit tighter on the hips, I think. I will put them on in a minute. So these were originally $69.99 and I got it for 40% off. Oh, first of all, this t-shirt, 
I bought actually I bought one of these um, in Spain full price they were not expensive but this was like seven pounds they're 40% off really lovely ripped t-shirt really soft I got my normal size medium um, and I love white t-shirts so whenever I see one that I like I always buy one you know they they don't stay nice for long so yeah this was seven pounds okay so here are the trousers they feel lovely again they are quite a bit bigger on the waist but not too bad but they feel slightly tighter at the widest bit of my hip about here but not uncomfortable I just feel them being slightly tight but I'm thinking because they have stretch in them and it's wool they probably will stretch a bit so I think I'm going to keep those because I absolutely love the shape of them so I got these and then I got this pair. Now this pair, the fabric is really, really weird. They are black. It's quite thick and like substantial. They have some stretch in them. Um, they, they feel almost like that scuba fabric. It is not, but I think they are nice because they will not crease. But these felt much more low waisted. So can you see these, like cover my belly button, these go under my belly button. So they feel like the rise is really short and they are quite thick. So I think I might send these back. Let me put them on. I see how I feel about them. So again, really nice shape, but they are just below my belly button so they feel about a bit tight here if I pull them a bit down on my waist but then they become even lower waisted so I, I don't know because I do love the shape of them but to be honest I have a pair of black bootcut trousers old like 20 years old they still look great then I probably don't need this pair so I will send this pair back yeah they they are funny they not they are nice but they feel i don't know what you would call this fabric it's strange anyway then talking about short coats i was looking for like a winter short almost cropped pea coat because i feel with long coats if you're wearing trousers like this for example you have to have really long coat or really short. Otherwise, if you have one like down to your knees, it will look strange. And because I do wear, um, I have quite a few pairs of like boot cuts and, and wide leg trousers, I thought a jacket like this would uh, look the best. So I've ordered two, not to keep two, but to see which one I prefer. And I got this one, this one is wool mix. It's really, really gorgeous. What size did I get? Medium. I got it in medium. I hope you can see it. And I love this coat. It's really substantial. So it will be warm. So it, it is not like cropped, cropped, but it comes up to like here on me. So I like it opened like this or you can do it up, it's like a double breasted um, fit. It's quite structured, I like that it has these big shoulders. So I'm really, really liking this coat, I'm keeping that. So I ordered that one and then I ordered navy one. And then I got this one. This one is, this one was cheaper. The full price was 45 pounds, so 40% of that. It's a bit thinner. Um, feels nice and soft and these buttons are actually poppers so I thought this one was really nice and I got this one in size medium but this one is really small so it, it looks okay like this and it's shorter can you see it's just not as elegant as the other one so well it's not small but I think it should be a bit more oversized 
Okay, it's a bit tight in my bobs. And maybe if it was big, I would be too big here. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look good done up. I would have to wear it undone. So this one is nice, but I much prefer the other one. So I'm going to send this one back. Then I got this gray cape in medium, no, in small. I probably should have got it in medium. It's quite a cute thing, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I think I should have gotten my own size so it was a bit more yeah I don't think it's all right you know it's it's nice thing maybe even in a summer if you're sitting in the evening outside and it gets a bit chilly but to be honest I don't think it's anything special so I will probably send that back as well it's cute also, I've noticed that it has like a bit of wool sticking out here. How much was that? You see, that was £45 full price comparing to the jacket. You know, jacket £45 but just little knitted cape. I don't think this is worth it so I will send it back. I think that was all from Zara. I was basically just after these trousers and some sort of crop jacket. And now from H&M, I got these two huge sort of blanket scarves. They are so soft, they are not itchy because I don't think they are wool. They were too cheap to be wool. And this is really, really hairy. The hair just comes out everywhere. So I'm going to still keep it because I can wear it dog walking or, you know, when it's really cold with my puffer jacket, which these ones stick to. So I got the cream one and this grey is beautiful. It's really nice pale grey. So I got these. And then... I got two pairs of boots uh, for choice. I'm not keeping both. But I was after sort of cream, small heel, pointy toe boots. And I found one pair in H&M, which were not that expensive, and one pair in June. I got 30% off on that as well. And I think I prefer the June ones, even though they are more expensive, but I will explain to you why. So uh, here are the h and I'm sending them back, so they are in there. So these are the June ones, really comfy, beautiful. I love this sock that is quite high. Let me get the other ones out so I show you the difference. Okay, these are like attached like this, so I have to hold them. So you see, these are similar. The heel might be a tiny bit smaller. But can you see how plain they are here? They don't have any stitching like these ones. Therefore, the sock of the boat is much wider. Now, if you are thinking of wearing these just with very long skirts, like maxi skirts, or long trousers that you can only see the tip of the shoe, then go for the cheaper ones. But when it comes to crop trousers or midi skirts, I hate when the, the sock part is so wide because it makes you look like you've got cankles. You know, like there is no shape to your ankle. Whereas this one, can you see, hugs more. This is a bit thinner and more stretchy. This is very stiff. So I, none of them are leather. But these feel like leather, these feel more plasticky. But they are still really nice and they were not that expensive. I can't remember now how much. But yes, if you are going to wear them with something long and oh, if you don't mind your ankle looking fatter, then these are absolutely perfect. But I prefer these, so I'm going to keep these. Right, back in my comfies. Right, so 
Oh, I have another thing, but I can't show you. That was really good. So you know, uh, my one of my favorite uh, brands of jeans is Seven for All Man Mankind. And they had 40% off as well, which is amazing because they are quite expensive. So I bought a pair of bootcut moleskin jeans in a really lovely light beige color. Uh, but I can't show them to you because I knew as soon as I tried them that I like them. I took them to uh, my neighbor's mum and she is shortening them for me. I needed about that much taking up. And I've taken, you know, the stuff that I brought from Spain as well, the two pairs of trousers. I've taken those as well to her to be shortened. So I can't show it to you, but I will leave you the link to those if they still have them. Right, my lovely. So that's all I bought. So I'm just keeping two jackets, one pair of trousers and one pair of boots. And of course, these earrings I really like them <laughs> sorry I was just looking at what I filmed trying these things on <laughs> and I've noticed that I didn't finish it I didn't say goodbye I didn't say see you tomorrow <laughs> so see you tomorrow hello my lovelies I have just finished filming and I thought I'd show you a couple of things so as you know, I never use eyeshadow primer on my eyelids. People often ask me, all I use is concealer. So when I put my under eye concealer here in a corner, then I take a beauty sponge and I blend it under my eye and then go over my eyelid and then slightly powder it. And that's my primer. And that's been working fine for me. But, you know, any time I see someone else doing eye makeup, especially the makeup artists, they will use eye primer. So I thought, well, surely I must need one. And I've tried some before, and I've always felt that they didn't make any difference. Um, and I saw someone using their Rare Beauty one. So, and it looked really good because it looks a bit like concealer. So I thought, I get it. I tried it a couple of times and I'm not impressed. I didn't think it made any difference to my eyeshadow application or how my eyeshadow looked. In fact, I felt like my eyeshadow faded a bit using this, but I can't be 100% sure because I've only used it a couple of times. So I don't know why I got it. I've also repurchased this lipstick from Chanel, it's the Rouge Coco 432 Cecile. Because I couldn't find it, like in shops, I couldn't find it. And even when we went to Spain, I went to Sephora there and they didn't have it and they told me that it has been discontinued. And I love this lipstick. This and Charlotte Tilbury's Dance Floor Princess are quite similar. And they are really lovely everyday lipsticks. They are not too pale, not too dark. And you can change the look of them depending what lip liner you use. Today I've got on the Anastasia lip liner in Deep Taupe and Cecile. This is my old one, so I have just that much left. And I just found it online, actually in our Sephora. So I've ordered a new one and maybe I should order another one. So that's the colour of it. It's nice and shiny. Really comfortable. Love this lipstick. And I wanted to show, I don't know if I told you, I've bought a table, not table, floor lamp for my living room. Because, do you remember when I was changing up my living room? I don't want to take you in dinner because it's a mess. Louis toys are everywhere. I'll show you another time. Um, I used to have that mirrored sideboard, sideboard next to my sofa. Well, I've moved it now to the wall opposite and I think I'm going to leave it. So in that corner I have, it's a bit empty. So I've bought a floor lamp from Laura Ashley. It's just very simple sort of chrome and, and glass and um, 
I was looking for a lampshade and I quite like the rectangular lampshades and I my search got me onto Etsy and I saw one that I really liked and there were two colors that I liked but you know on a picture you you are not quite sure about the actual shade so I wanted something neutral beigey taupey and there were two colors that I liked and um, she was so nice, the owner of the shop. I messaged her and asked her if it would be possible that she would send me swatches of those two colors. And she did really quickly. So I thought it was amazing um, customer service. And I chose this one. I can't remember now what color it was. It's still in the plastic, it's just arrived. So I'm gonna put it, the size of it is, it is, um, 40 centimeters this way, 20 I think this way, and maybe 22 this way. Um, so yeah, I really, really love it, and I love this color. I will leave you in the description box um, the Etsy shop where I bought it from, and I will put the color down because I can't remember now. I think it might have been sand. So it's light beige, I think, and sand. Or maybe this is beige and the light one was out. I don't know. But yeah, I will leave you the link um, down below. I think the only thing is, can you see you have the seam here? When I was reading reviews, people said that when you put the lamp on, you can see the seam that is quite wide. But I was thinking, because it is rectangular, you would just put the side of the seam against the wall, towards the wall, so you will never see it. You will just see this nice side, so it doesn't matter. They have to have a seam somewhere. So that's my lamp. Right, my lovelies, I'm gonna go and do some work now, some editing and the usual stuff. <music> 